Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, this ought to be a very interesting beer here. Uh, this is Omnipolo, or Omni, uh, this was sent to me by Henrik over in Sweden. And uh, this is the Nebu Nebuchadnezzar uh, Imperial IPA at 8.5% by volume. Sent a note along here with it. He says, uh, mm, Omnipolo. Omnipolo is pronounced Omnipojo. Polo is chicken in Spanish and they play with om omnipotence. I forget why, he says. Anywho, this fine brew contains barley malt, wheat malt, and oats. Hop is Columbus, Centennial, and Simcoe. Great hops. This is a favorite, but then again, I haven't tried Pliny the Elder. <laughs> uh, I will tell you this, Henrik, you need to try these beers uh, that come from America as soon as you can get your hands on it. And I'll tell you why in just a second. Uh, Open Guards and Omnipolo have one thing in common. They are both incapable of making bad beers. But as you guys say, it's just my 50 cents. Or is it by? Oh. So, that's what he has written about this other than the dating. He wrote a little side note. The date is on the cap. It reads two years back. So it was brewed on um, June the 27th of 2016. That's where we get into problems. Henrik, uh, hop spade over time, my friend. Uh, what this beer would have tasted like in June or July, it is not going to taste nowhere near that now in March of 2017. And... Uh, on the cap here, it has got 62718. They are giving this beer a two year shelf life, and it's an IPA or considered an imperial or a double IPA. My God, y'all, this beer in 2018 is not going to taste anything like it did in 2016. But they're, I guess they're giving it that shelf life because it's an imperial at 8.5%. The alcohol is still going to make the beer drinkable. It, it's not going to go bad because of the high ABV, but it is not going to taste anywhere like it did the first three months it was put in the beer in the, in the bottle. So this one was done in June of six, 2016, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. This beer is nine months old. As far as my two cents is. It is three times past its shelf life. And there and it's still got all of the rest of 2017 and up to June of 2018 is what they're giving us. Uh, Hendrick, I try this, try this. Get you one of these that was done in June of 2016. Uh, and you may have already had one. And put one away until June of 2018. And tell me, send me an email, write me a note. Contact me and tell me how much different that beer is going to taste to you when it's two years old being an IPA, especially using the American hops. It is going to be a malt bomb, my friend. So, and I got a feeling this may be this may even be now. If it's not, I'm going to be blown away. I tell you that for a double IPA that's used those three hops and not being a malt bomb at nine months, I would be very impressed. 
I'm hoping I'm wrong. I really am. I'm hoping this is going to blow my head off. I really do. So let's get on with it. Uh, he's, he's basically told us everything that we need to know about the beer. So let me get this thing, and like I said, it's an eight and a half percenter. Uh, get this thing off the table because they need barbecue, the cheese and pepper, Monterey. Not a very big hiss. Pepper Jack Shark, Blue Cheddar, Stronger Cheeses, Gorgon's Auto Limburger, and uh, meat is game and grilled meat and salmon. Glass bar snifter, tulip oversized wine glass. I got my favorite snifter. I'll be surprised if there's some sediment in here already. Where the hops have coagulated. I hope this, I hope this beer proves me wrong. I really do. Really not a lot in the bottle. And I wouldn't sell this beer, but they're saying you can for two years. That's what they're giving it, the shelf life on it. So, I'm dying to get my nose to this. About a finger of head. Kind of cloudy in the bulb part. I can see a little bit of light through the thin part down there. Let's get a nose to it. Slight citrusiness in there. Uh, heavy maltness. Maybe a hint of some lemon or orange peel in there. i tell you one thing. It, it does smell more citrusy than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting this not to have any hot presence at all in nine months. Well, first beer of the day. We're going to jump right in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Hendrick. And Hendrick, before I even put my lips to it, I'm going to be straight up honest with you, brother. If it's good, I'm going to say it's good. If it's not too good, I'm going to say that too, my friend. Very nice citrusy taste of this beer. By no means is it a juice bomb or a West Coast style at this stage. I wish this this beer would have been done last month or the month before so I can actually get a, a taste of what this beer was like the first three months, the first three months it was in there. And I, I am so thankful that he didn't send it to me <coughs> when it was at the end of his two year shelf life, two year. Uh, Hendrick, I don't think this beer will survive two years. In uh, April or May or even June of 2018, I pretty much would guarantee this is going to be, be a big, multi mess. Uh, I may be wrong, but with the amount of beers I've had and, and some not even this old being multi, this one has survived very well. don't understand how, but it has. But I'm sure it's not to the hoppiness that it that it was in July of 2016. Like I said, slight hint of some citrus in there, orange peel, lemon peel, strong bitterness on the back end, but a heavy maltiness to go with it, guys. It is not to the malt bomb stage yet. Or it's just nothing but malts. I am getting a little bit of citrus in there, but I'm not getting a big grapefruit or pineapple. It does have strong bitterness, though. And being a local beer to him, I'm sure he gets these things very fresh. But it's unbelievable to me that they would put a two-year shelf life on this and not have people in an uproar buying this beer when it's a year, year and a half old and saying, man, this doesn't taste like it did when it was fresh because it's not going to. So, but anyway, we're going to let it warm up and I'm going to sip on for a little while and we'll see where it ends up. This beer has great numbers uh, from what I've seen and read about it. So, uh, fresh, I imagine this is pretty awesome, especially using the hops they use, uh, the uh, Simcoe was it the... Uh, that's a warmer, that's not it. 
Columbus, Centennial, and Simcoe. Three great hops. So, well, let's step on it and see where it ends up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. Nice lace lacing is left on the glass. Uh, now, this is heavy malty. Uh, just a slight hint of some citrus in this in there. Maybe, some, like I said, some orange peel or, or a lemon peel. But it is, in, and this is just my two cents. Uh, like Henry uh, said, uh, a 50 cent uh, or 5 cent. Uh, this beer gets outstanding uh, reviews. Uh, especially this, uh, drinking it over, uh, people are drinking it over there. I would say this is an outstanding world-class beer fresh. Uh, I would not be afraid to say that whatsoever. But this one is nine months old. Uh, this beer, how could they possibly, with clear thinking, put a two-year shelf life on a double IPA? I just, that blows my mind, guys. It really does. Uh, the alcohol is heavy enough where this beer will last that long. But the hops are going to be faded off so bad by then. Like I said earlier, I just wish uh, this was brewed a, a month or two ago uh, where I could have had it fresh and give an honest uh, review of a fresh beer. But being nine months old... <laughs> I'm going to definitely go against the numbers on this one because the hops have faded way more than they probably would have been being a month or two old, uh, even three. So, and that's what I was afraid of when I read that it was that old uh, and brewed uh, back in June of 2016. I'm going, wow. Makes me sad, but it is what it is. Let's do the final show. I just wish Hendrick would have been able to get his hands on a fresher bottle than the one that I have here in front of me. Uh, guys, as far as I'm concerned, uh, this is not an A beer at this stage of the game. At nine months old, it is not an A beer. And to be flat out honest with you, it's not a B beer. Uh, it is a it is a malt. It's not a malty mess, but it, it it is a malt bomb, with just a slight hint of the the citrusiness of those um, American hops that they use, the Centennial, Columbus, and the Simcoe, and those are really pungent hops. Uh, uh, Simcoe is for sure. So, uh, as 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 much as I hate to say it, guys, uh, I know this is a well-made beer, but these guys cannot give a double IPA. A two-year shelf life, and I just, I just, I don't understand why Henrik and the, the consumers over there would put up with that. Uh, of course, they're, they're probably drinking it up before it gets to that age. I mean, they're making it there, and I don't know how often they do it. If they bring out a new batch every two or three, four months, uh, where everything's already been bought up and drank, and, and they keep replenishing it with fresh beers, and it's going to be outstanding. Oh man, this is awesome! This is awesome, but once it gets to this stage, uh, not so, not so much. So, uh, as, as as much as I hate to say it, I'm gonna give this a C. Uh, it's a little past its prime, and with the numbers I'm seeing everywhere about this beer, I'm sure this is an outstanding beer, and maybe even a ten beer. Uh, I'm pretty damn sure it's an A beer for sure when it's fresh. So. Uh, Much as I hate to say it, guys, uh, it's a C beer to me. I'm going to give this, and the C beer is a 4. So this gets a 4. I'm sorry, Hendrick. Uh, I told you I was going to be honest about it. Uh, and that's where I would put this beer. Uh, this is way past its prime, in my opinion. So uh, sad, because he spent his hard earned money on it and paid out the wazoo to ship it over to me with the other beers that he sent. So breaks my heart. But it is what it is, and, and just to tell you uh, how much off from what this beer normally gets, let's run over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate has it at 92, outstanding. Over to Rate Beer, Rate Beer has it at 99 overall, 97 in the style. That's what I'm saying, guys. 
and untapped has it in 4.02. All A numbers from these guys. So, God, man, like I said, it saddens my heart that I've got one that's nine months old. So, uh, not a realistic uh, uh, assessment of what this beer is fresh. Uh, but it is what it is. I, I can't get my hands on it, and, and this is what I got sent to me. So, it is what it is, guys. If you had this one, uh, let me know what you think. This is Neb Nebuchadnezzar from Omnipolo, or Poo, how did he say? I pronounce Omnipojo, Omnipojo. Let me know what you think, guys. I'm sad. I'm sad. Come on back tomorrow. Let's see what we dig out of the bridge. See you then.